Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, has there been ha, has there been a more requested band than Goose over the past three or four months? I don't know. There has been, let's call it an undercurrent. An undercurrent throughout, you know, this whole time period since I started, you know, Doing these, doing these jam bands, I've been hearing this goose, always lots of O's, and in all caps. Started with my cousin JC, who plays keys in a local band here in Baltimore, called the Moody Moose. They used to be called Moody Goose, but then as he put it, goose is exploding, so we can no longer be goose. So now they're the Moody, the Moose with the horns. So, I've heard two minutes here two minutes there of goose i've done a half dozen or so of these live tractions where we come on live if you're a subscriber you know ring the bell you'll get notified when i'm live and uh, you can throw tracks out there and listen to a couple minutes or so sounded killer knew that i had to give the band you know a real fair shake and do a whole track so i get this email from my buddy Fantasy Kingpin, one of my moderators. Thank you for all your help. And he goes, again, this goose is blowing my mind this 20th of April. <laughs> he goes, I think these guys are excelling at building and peaking, improvising, and I'm also understanding that these guys are serious composers as well. The melodies they've made for their vocals are another thing I'm impressed with. Hope you enjoy this. And I write him back. I said, dude, I've had so many requests to this goose. You know, I don't know where to start. I'm looking for something 10 minutes or so. Literally. I mean, there's been at least 50 to 100 requests for goose on probably every video I've done for the past three or four months. I don't think that's an exaggeration. I really don't. And he goes, well, my friend, at just under 10 minutes, Arcadia is the first song in their new album, Alive and Well. It was recorded at the 2019 Peach Fest which was a show that has been described as sort of a launching pad for the band. For you, my friend, deal. We click the button, Goose Alive and Well. Let's make it full screen. Uh, why is close this? Boom. Two hours and 11 minutes. I hope you're right about being the first song. Hear it? Goose. I love it. I love it. All bands should have a chant like that, you know? Hey. Oh. John Coach Lombardi. Look, road manager, moving camera. You get a shout out. Lights. Sam, the front of house guy gets a shout out. I'm liking this band already. The, the camera guys. Love that hollow body too. Oh! 
Oh, this is killer. 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 Um, uh, okay. Love the shirts. Love the mustaches. Love the PRS hollow body, too. Um, love the sound. This is a great sounding band. Um, reminds me of Spafford, you know, in, in the way that their, that their sound is balanced. You know, you got the big, warm, modulus bass. You got the Nord, you know, and then you got... I love how he's sitting down wearing his Nikes, just chilling in the sun with the sunglasses. And the keyboard player wearing regular glasses. It's obviously bright outside. I just... Little details. Um, harmonically... I gotta go back and get this. There's some cool stuff happening. At first, it sounds like C-sharp minor, right? But then, when they're going through it, it's C-sharp seven for sure. And that little vocal line, such a hook. So it's like, it's like you have flat seven to root. the major sixth which makes me think Dorian but there's a major third so it's kind of like C sharp to B so like uh, uh, uh. yeah so it's like flat seven in the So it's like it wants to be Dorian, but you're just making it a major th Let's go back. Enough talking. Let's go back. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see where we are. Bear with me. If you guys are new to this channel, this is how it goes. You know, we teach, we learn, we react, we analyze. No edits, all the same time. We don't know what's going to happen. Oh Lord, I didn't see it coming. Got me just trying not to lose my So again, five, four, three. So you got that, um, you know, G sharp, but it's minor, right? So minor five. So again, feeling like we're, you know, Dorian because you then have the major four and flat three major. So it makes you think we're in B major, right? So it's C sharp Dorian, but again, we're just making it. Let's call it bluesy. Basically, you're just major thirding it because you feel like it. It's really the truth. So, E to F sharp again. So flat three is your minor three major. Flat three major up, up to four. And then the groove. I'm just fine. run there so C sharp 7 you got that there's a lot of that happening and then a little minor run so it's like it's like blues ish it's the neighborhood of C sharp you know it's it's I feel like I say that a lot but some things really are not all major and not all minor that's a minor pentatonic run over dominant chord Again, so we're modulating, sort of. So you got one, and you're thinking, you know, neighborhood of B, C sharp, right? Like it's Dorian, but you know this is a major, major third. And then it operates like you're in C sharp. Like you're going to your sixth minor, like you're in key, and walking down like you're in C sharp major now. G sharp major, F sharp, Major, right? Not minor like up here. But it looks like it's dominant. This is the power of video. You know, you got the... 
the flat seven in there. It just, you know, you know. Underneath my way. And now we're back into that. Right? Flat six, dominant. Flat seven dominant, just like you do in minor progressions. If this was C sharp minor, that one flat seven major, flat six major, that's super common. So the song is constantly flirting with, are we in C sharp Dorian? Or are we actually in C sharp Ionian? Or are we in C sharp Aeolian? It's a flirt. It's a, it's, it's a flirt, you know, and when you do stuff like this, everybody in the band has got to know where all the thirds are. All the thirds are, all the time, and you got to stack them right. That's why the band sounds as good as it does. One of the reasons, it's also the tone. Hear those keys? He wins for the sunglasses. That is such a hook. That is such a hook. You know when you see me do the seat dancing, you know you got a you know you got a real one. You got a live one on the end of the line. Um, that 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 flirting with the major and minor, and making all the major chords dominant. So you're keeping that bluesy feel. But really, with that major sixth implying that Dorian kind of vibe especially after you've walked up from the flat six to flat seven, and then keeping that, that, sorry. That's a hook. That's a hook. That's why you open the show with this one. They call those bangers, if I'm, if I, if I'm not mistaken. There's that lick again. There's that lick. I'm telling you, everybody knows where all the thirds are, and they're all playing to the tones of their instrument, you know? That everybody's got their own spot, their own timbre, their own sound, and they're all playing towards it. This is a very well arranged band. Sound is great. Love that seat. The bass and the keys are like finger cuffs.
love the little hi hats and snags there. Again, again, it's minor, right? You're hearing him get that nine, get that major sixth. It's like, it makes me, it reminds me of like, you know, when Herbie Hancock said he was working with Miles Davis and he thought he said, don't play the butter notes, uh, which would, and he thought that would be like the thirds. And so he just played a lot of nines and sixes and blah, 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 blah. And even though that's not exact, he found out later that's not exactly what Miles went. Miles was like, yeah, you get it. This is what I'm talking about. You can imply, you know, a tonal center. You don't always, you can just, you can just poke at it. You don't always have to say it. Hey, major, minor, you know, diminished. You, you can just eh, freaking love it. Drummer solid. Beautiful day, too. See what I'm saying? Someone brought the goose. knee brace on that's why he's sitting down sorry sorry dude even if you're doing a mike hauser thing here we go lead time lead time the bass match with that, 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 and the bass grab it and the keys grab it, they're all doing it together, right? They're listening a lot. And you can hear him, again, he is major thirding it, he's doing straight, minor third runs, going to the six, going to the nine, dude's, dude, dude's running around. Introducing, introducing, it started in the beginning of the tune with that little bass run. They did it again throughout the tune and introduced it, you know, that building it going into the solo and then having him bring that motif back over and over again, leading the listener with something as simple, it's just a flat seven and a root, really gets stuck in your ear. It really gets stuck in your ear.
I did not expect that. Is that it? Hold on, let's see if that's it. Yeah, that's it. What's that dude's name? I gotta go back. You, sir, you, sir, are great. Um, did not see that coming. Now I know why Fantasy Kingpin said what he said. All right. Okay, the band was hitting all those changes together, building together dynamically. You know, everybody's obviously getting all the hits. The rhythm's perfect. Tone's there. There's no whatever. But that lead soared. That part where he did the single line that, like, coming up, coming up here, and then, I mean, I, I, I'm sure I can't do it. But that. It's like Derek, it's like a la Derek Trucks, where even though he's got the Ottawa thing on, I mean, he is, he is coming up and down the line um, and making, giving it that, that vocal slide-like thing and then following up with arpeggio straight across the, hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on. 2340. You know what? This is going to be a long video. I, let me go back and snag it. Just, just a touch of this. Um, for you guys that aren't guitar players, you don't have to watch the rest of this, but I, I, I want to go back and snag a little more. Um, bitchin'. Absolute bitchin' playing. Just totally didn't see that coming. Wow. Alright, let's get, let's get a little, let's get a little taste. Let's see what we, see what we got here. Uh, yeah. So it's like, it's like you're operating off C-sharp minor right now, right? Right, your minor third. That one, that one. Yes, he's not doing it. He's not, he's not doing it at the... Uh, so, uh... So it's like, uh, why am I all over the place? It's, uh, mm. yeah, it, 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 that's just so killer. <laughs> But the slides, dude, you got you got that slide on that touchdown. And you're always going down to the There's your resolution point minor. Your relative. Dude, dude, that that um you're gonna give me nightmares. Yeah, yeah. Bending through the root like that. And there's something about the Ottawa leaving that on that, that combined with that style sliding is a t totally new kind of different sound I'm not used to. I'm not used to it. Yeah. And the band doing it right there with them. So, C sharp. Pushing off, flat five to five. See how much you can do with a root and a fifth, right? But listen to the sound, a little Mason, that, that hollow body tuber screaming. And the chords are changing behind him, but he's staying right on it. Key center, key center. He snagged that change there. How do you
do you get that bend? I guess just, just stay through it. There it is again, that. Ah. Now he's doing it there. Of course you're gonna alternate and go back and forth. Yeah. See him catch that going down? Getting that F sharp major, right? And then getting the E, adding the pinky to flat seven it. I'm so sorry I don't know your name. <laughs> I don't know the name of anybody in this band. I know it started out uh, uh, mentioning everybody's name. You have my attention, Goose. Um, killer. Great stuff. Phenomenal playing. Phenomenal bandsmanship. Let's go with bandsmanship. So, by that I mean arranging. Uh, complementary tones of all of your gear, your attack, your phrasing. The actual sound is complementary. Makes me think of Spafford. Really does. Um, I realize it's a different groove, but you know, that, that big modulus bass sound, the Nord, you know, operating its own, it's like out here, you know, the guitar straight mid range in there and the drums just right as the rain building together, you know, great hi-hat work and the, the, the melodic hook. I don't remember the lyrics. Um, I just remember I'm going to, we're going to be okay or I'm going to be okay, but that that melodic hook that's introduced in the beginning of the tune, uh, the 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 little motifs starting with that bass line that you know culminates into the solo. It there's so many memorable things in it. I really that's really for me the key takeaway of this band is. Hey guys, sorry, the uh, the camera cut out. Of course, that's why you saw me get up and check before. Usually I have no edits, but the camera only goes 30 minutes and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so yeah, that's really the key takeaway for me of the band is um, not only how good it sounds, but the fact that there's so many earworms in the music. The melody, the, the, that little bass run you hear, that little motif that you see introduced in that bass run, and then it builds upon it, and then when the solo starts, it goes up in range and it comes back down. I, I'm sitting here in my, in right here, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Like, I, I can hear it. And that's always the test for me. You guys, if you've known me for a little bit, you know that if you're not playing stuff that one, gets people dancing, and two, makes it so they can't get little earworms out of their head in the car on the way home, then you're not really doing the best job you could do. Um, and this band does it in spades. Sounds great. Guitar player, I'm sorry I don't remember your, know your name or anybody in the band's name, but bitchin', bitchin'. I will definitely be seeing you guys when you come to the Mid-Atlantic. I'm in Baltimore. Um, I'd, uh, it'd be an honor and a privilege. I mean, I, I can see I can see why you guys get so much love, and my cousin JC was just like, oh, yeah, but I mean, it's goose. So I get it. I'm a fan. You guys are totally killer. And uh, for all you guys watching, especially Fantasy Kingpin, thank you so much for suggesting this and all of you for being patient for me to finally get to Goose. I get it now. Um, thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, for all you guys that are curious about how I view the fretboard, you want to freshen up your music theory, you want to uh, support the channel because I don't do Patreon. For those of you that don't play, you can always sign up and send a link to someone that does play. I hope you'll consider hitting the first link in the description and joining me over at guitargate.com. It's 10 bucks. You get all my lessons, courses, and everything, and it allows me to do this. And as you guys know, as a subscriber, um, I give you guys preference on reaction requests. There's a whole section of the site to where you can upload videos and say, do this one next, do this one next. And I try to do two or so a week just for paying subscribers because you guys literally let me do this. So thanks again. I sincerely appreciate the support. And uh, dude, goose, crushed it. Crushed it. So good. See you soon, guys.